Yes, you should say no. For far too long, you've been a doormat. And you know my mindset, if you're gonna be a doormat, get welcome tattooed on your forehead. You can't be everything for everybody. You can't do everything for everybody. It's impossible for you to protect your inner peace. It's impossible for you to protect your emotional well-being if you refuse to say no. Let me introduce you to your new favorite word. No. Know your longitude. Know your latitude. And what I mean by that is know where you're at. Know what you stand for. Know yourself. I'm an entrepreneur. And recently, had a young lady working for me. She had an option to do job A or job B. Well, she had texted me a few days earlier and said, if you hire me, I feel more comfortable doing job B. I really don't want to do job A because I'm trying to lower my stress levels. And when I do that job, it kind of stresses me out. I said, okay, cool. Well, what happened is I had a situation where someone was supposed to do job A and they had to call in because of an emergency. So I sent her a text and asked her if one time she could step out of her comfort zone and do job A. Her reply was, I can't because I know that job is gonna stress me out. And I understand where I'm at and that's not a place I'm trying to be. And all I could do was applaud her because she stood up for herself. And I need you to do the exact same thing. She respected the brand of her and I need you to respect the brand of you. So yes, you should say no. A lot of times you need to say no to yourself, to all of your impulses, all those temptations that don't align with where you wanna be at mentally, physically, or spiritually. Saying no means you value your time. Saying no means you respect yourself. Me and my wife, used to be walking doormats. I started to get a little bit better at it, and she still was doing it. I said, babe, you don't have to keep trying to do everything that we ask you or other people ask you. And she heard me. And now, I created a monster. Cause she tells me no effortlessly now. So yes, you should say no. Because at times when you say yes, you are really saying no to yourself. You can be a good person with a kind heart and a beautiful soul and still say no. Stop feeling guilty and feeling bad for saying no. You're protecting your inner peace. You're protecting your well-being. So I need you to exercise your no muscle. Say it with me. No. Say it again. No. Say it again. Mm -mm. Say it again. Can't do that. Doesn't fit in my wheelhouse that'll lead me to places I don't want to be. So, yes, you should say no. And once you start doing that more often, you will find yourself climbing over the hump and making each and every day of your life a Wednesday. This is a great day to say no and an even better day to win. Let's go.